So this is a memory based analysis for 26 November paper one analysis. Uh, thanks Sona for sending in all the questions. Now the very first uh, discussion would be related to environment. So from the sections on environment, we had questions from Kigali. Uh, now Kigali agreement very very important we already mentioned the targets uh, so that was one of the questions then arsenic uh, we had discussed in down to earth uh, this time and arsenic and fluoride as I always had mentioned are very very important when it comes to groundwater contamination so permissible limits for arsenic in water was another question now which of the following is the best source of renewable energy was another important question there was uh, questions related uh, related to BRICS and it was mainly the sustainable development goal so sustainable development goal was another question that was asked here when it comes to communication the questions were related to power communication uh, questions with reference to referent with reference to expert were the uh, questions now as we have received the feedback most of the questions were easy but uh, the language was a little tricky and uh, the questions were not very very direct uh, coming on to higher education question was based on deemed university which of the following university is a deemed university and then there had uh, been questions related to NEPA there were questions related to ICSSR the Indian Council for Social Science Research the match the following questions from this section also there were questions from ICT section on proprietary software uh, the disadvantages of proprietary software over the open source software so for example ArcGIS is a proprietary software however QGIS is a open source software so what is the advantages and the disadvantages for the both then there were questions which related to uh, spreadsheet uh, spreadsheet applications so spreadsheet applications and uses in business uh, assertion reason type of question from the section on logic question pertain to first of all the problem on syllogism so there were question like all textbooks are books some reference books are books some textbooks are reference books so which of the following is correct so here you have a three uh, three venn diagram as always so it would be books textbooks and then reference books and then you would have to shade the area so when i say all books are textbooks that means there would be no book which would lie in this region so all books would be textbooks and then uh, based on the options you, uh, based on the other statements you would have to proceed so that was one kind of question which was asked there were another another question which were based on fallacy uh, the choices were related to distributed fallacy undistributed fallacy exclusive fallacies and existential fallacy we still don't know the exact question but yes uh, the questions were related to uh, uh, fallacies then there were questions based on sequence series uh, in mathematics so questions based on sequence, questions based on percent, then there were questions based on teaching, uh, questions related to data interpretation, passage based questions as always, uh, passage was relatively moderate and um, uh, there were questions which were applicative based on assertion reason and statement based question so that was one of the common characteristics of the question which was asked also uh, minute and time calculation problems were there so those were some of the common questions which were asked for your paper 1 26th November examination now those who are left with their remaining papers definitely we have seen a huge range of questions which were asked and most of the questions pertain to more or less the similar theme that we had been talking in our experience series as well as the regular classes so uh, the complete uh, video course is available at the following link and if you are interested into more details or you have any question uh, which you are unable to solve you can definitely contact us back the solutions for all the papers uh, for 2020 are already available on doorstep and we would be bringing in more question solutions for 2021 uh, on the website as soon as the official papers are released so stay tuned for much more updates from our side and wish you very good luck for those who are left with the examination those who are already done with the examination i definitely recommend it's not a right time to sit and analyze for the cutoff uh, you should be directed towards your next goal whatsoever you are uh, about to do uh, next be it your uh, college exams or be it any other entrance exam that you are facing or 
uh, probably if you are feeling that you are very very secure and you have attempted good you have a high chance of selection then definitely think about what next you can go for it can be research options and uh, you can start writing your research and publication so that would be uh, one of the suggestions from our side wish you very good luck for your preparation and those who are already done just have a few days of relaxation and get into tune again with your next assignments and commitments wish you very good luck have a wonderful day ahead